As y'all know from Omega Fats Action's incredible array of information on healthy fat intake, FDA science is clear on that. Trans fats causing heart attacks. But when you're shopping for um, bulk baking ingredients on the web, it is buyer beware. So across the board, virtually it's really hard to find the nutrition information and ingredients disclosed when a trans fat product is being sold on the internet. If it's not on the manufacturer's website, it could likely, it's likely not on vendor websites, and you're basically left having to scour the internet for anything, and then oftentimes you run into these fabricated, fraudulent, jacked up nutrition panels that are just anything but misleading, that they're not in, in instilling consumer confidence in the least when you see what I'm about to review, which is on sale at foodservicedirect.com. This website has presented fraudulent nutrition facts panels for at least 30 listings. We're up to so many of these sites, um, so many of these um, products if it's baking, shortening, if it's icing, if it's frosting, chances are it's being sold under um, false advertising circumstances. So we're going to go over this. It covers manufacturers, Stratus Foods, Ventura Foods, J.W. Allen, Riches, and Brill. Because these are major baking ingredient uh, manufacturers. And you're going to see when I go over this how just atrocious this is. Plus it has far-reaching impacts. If, if this is the only place where you can find the um, nutrition's references because the, these manufacturers, like I said, they're not giving out this information on their website. So kind of sending us out into this um, oblivion. All right. So we're going to go over um, what you can expect to find here. Here is some donut glaze. And you start to see a pattern of zeroed out, um, zeroed out values conspicuously. Look at this. There's a bunch of sugar but no calories. And they can measure the serving size to 40.8 but then don't give you a unit that it's measured in. Basically, very conspicuous. So, and then it's not saying like, oh, it's made with um, artificial sweeteners, zero calorie artificial sweeteners. No, it's just a completely jacked up misleading label. All right, here we go. Some golden flare oil. This is um, not the worst of the worst of ways that trans fats can be presented, but you see there's a um, saturated fat is missing its daily value. One gram serving has 14 grams of total fat. So that right there is just very, why bother? Can they just sell this stuff under, like, true circumstances? And who uploaded all these? Um, you will be wondering when you review all this. Okay, Primex, here's another trans fat product. Again, with the saturated fat, daily value zeroed out. And no units given to the serving sizes. It's like any editor can see. Now this is really conspicuous. Here we go. It's a zero trans fat, but you go to the uh, nutrition's, and you find it's got um, zero grams total fat, and one, but one of them is saturated. And it all adds up to very misleading. So you have something like this, and then you go over to the real um, website where it's being sold. Shit. Shit. The, um... Alright, I had that uploaded. But basically with this, it's very troublesome because on Ventura's website... They don't give you a nutrition panel like this. So the only nutrition panel really um, furnished for this stuff. Here, I'll just type that in just to show that to you right now. Because this is like... 
Advanced Melfry. Okay. Let's see. Melfry Advanced. Alright, so then you go to Ventura's website. And you see, oh, here it is. They give you some descriptions. And then, um, but under the nutrition info, it's just a few check boxes for attributes, okay? So, low saturated fat, uh, low cholesterol, okay. Still no nutrition facts panel. So, basically, the only place with the nutrition facts panel is this website with completely jacked up shit everywhere. Okay, and that is by no means can we expect some fryer canola oil to be fat free, zero grams total fat. Asinine. Okay, so here's some stuff that honestly this may be a trans fat. Okay. But here you go. It's um zeroed out, zero, zero, zero. Oh, it's got 120 calories in fat, but no total calories, no total fat, but 2.5 of those grams. Okay, okay, and then no no uh, units for the serving size, so very, very reassuring, right? And then a tiny bit of vitamin A. Oh, how redeeming. All right, so that's incredibly reassuring. More from Ventura. So we'll have to look at that one up on their site, too. The natural fry liquid, okay. More of the same, zero total fat fry liquid from Ventura. And that one has some calories. Hooray town. What are these people on? Here, super unsettling, fry shortening, hella trans fat, but no total fat. So if people get past this line, oh, it must not be that bad because the um, it's not part of my daily value and it must just be completely fake ingredients so it doesn't, it counts as calories but not as fat, it counts as saturated fat. And trans fat, but not as total fat. Yeah, so that's reassuring, right? And even if this is, like, um, no longer available, how long were they duping people? How long has this been listing been up? Um, here's another site where it seems the fake label has has migrated over to this Har Harrisburg site. For Mel Fry Clear Liquid. Um... Is this the one? Is that the one? Clear liquid. Natural liquid. Natural liquid. Anyway, totally different. That's got trans fat, but no total fat, no calories. Way to go. Way to go to present. This is incredibly redeeming. Oh, and there it is. Partially hydrogenated. But then if you don't know what you're doing, you get, oh, it's it's calorie free, uh, but the calories and fat in it. Please. All right, and then here we go, some icing back over at foodservicedirect.com. Icing. No, it's made with absolutely nothing. There's nothing. There's a bunch of sugar in it, but that doesn't give it calories. And um, the point, oh, isn't that nice of them to, to measure point half of a gram of saturated fat when they can't measure these other things? <laughs> All right, and this is going to go on for a while and um, until we're over this here. There we go. Some is zero calorie, but there are calories and fat. There's saturated fat, but no total fat, and there's no units next to the, um, next to the serving size. How very reassuring. This is more of the same. Oh, incredibly appealing. From um, Riches. Riches. Um, Zero, oh wait, zero daily value in the six gram saturated fat, no calories, calories and fat. Oh yeah, the calories are from fat, not sugar. Don't forget, from the 22 gram sugar. Okay. And then we're over here with this lemon flavor. Ooh, incredibly appealing sounding. Okay. Then they go to the great lengths of putting the serving size in this, this very, uh, Conspicuous, they can measure that by 33.32. But they can't measure calories, they can't measure fat, right? 
It's got sugar, but the calories are from fat, and there's five grams of saturated fat that don't count towards the daily value. So that's part and parcel of like a lot of the rest. Don't forget, there's a whole another slew of these. This is some trans fat filling, yo. Okay, so Ventura, I pray. No, Satch Stratus. Pray this has been discontinued. My good God. But then why give up the why put it in these um jacked up looking undecipherable units? Um again, why? Why? Okay, we get it. That's it's very, very, very like much like don't look over here sort of thing. Oh, here we go. Rapid dry icing. Um, no fat. Look, there's nothing in it. No calories, no fat, no sugar. Oh, and this is probably the most laughable of this, this serving size section where it's 309 serving sizes per container. So you will get a bunch of nothing, but there are 309 of nothing in this, um... Very, very confidence building. Very, very, very nice job, Lawrence Foods. Very nice job working with um, Food Service Direct, Lawrence Foods. And pretending that these manufacturers don't see that their shit's presented. And I bet this is another one, if you look it up on Lawrence Foods' website, oh, that they will um, not fucking tell you. They won't tell you what it is. Do, 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 do. Oh, there it is on round eye supply. Okay, here it is again on a website where, oh, you can't access any nutrition over here. There's nothing referenceable over here. Description. There's a description. What's it made with again? A bunch of zeroed out nothings. Um, here it is on Amazon from Food Service Direct. And you can't reference anything about it. And um no reviews. I mean, gosh, I hope not not that many people have fallen for this shit. But what the fuck is in it? Um This would be on a Lawrence a Grain Mill Co-op. Let's see. Furnishing these. Oh, wait. Look. Oh, wait. Here's something completely different. Oh. Well, isn't that strange? That's got much more on it. And it's the same looking thing. No saturated fat. What the hell is with that zero servings? Which one do you believe? I Vesmir. What's this warehouse bullshit? FDA science is clear on that. You can prevent heart attacks. Don't ingest trans fats. We're not having that. All right, so back over to these. All right, this was the previous round. Okay, just round this out just to show you how hard it is to get information. Consumer beware. Here it is, zero calories icing. Some calories are from fat, but no total fat, and none of the fat stores your daily value, so it could come from a completely artificial ingredient, and you basically, it's a saturated fat that amounts to the 25 calories, yeah, very telling, very believable. Alright, here we go, 35 servings, and then this starts to get into a pattern of, you see the saturated fat? But you either have calories zeroed out and total fat zeroed out. 
And let's see what zeroed out here. The total fat and the calories. Chocolate donut icing. And then they can give you that decimal point again. There they hammer you with that. Look at how exacting we're peeing. Mm-hmm. A bunch of sugar. No calories. The calories are from fat. Small amount of calories and fat. But none of it goes towards your daily value. Mm-hmm. Incredibly confidence building. This is why you go into the donut shops and they can't tell you what their shit's made with. Half the time you go into a donut shop, you're like, what's it Friday? Oh, I'm not sure. You know, that, that person's not on staff right now and you could call back. Um, okay, incredibly reassuring. And they're like, vegetable shortening. Oh, it's what, this, it's what the distributor drops off. That's the bullshit response I got the last time I went to a fucking donut shop to ask them what they fry in. Shame on you misleading dupers of the donut world. Um, don't be duped, y'all. Here's some, again, there's nothing happening here. There's no calories, no fat, there's a bunch of sugar. The serving size is nondescript because there's no units. Yeah, very confidence building from, um, let's see if this is Brill of Stratus. Oh, wait. Ooh, we just lost that. Um, let's see. This is from... Oh, it keeps going back to that. Oh, here we go. Riches. Here we go. Supersets. You'll be set with mysteriously misleading. Don't think about what's going into your body. And hey, food service manufacturers, you'll never have to like display your ingredients to anyone. So no worries. Here's a bunch of shit. Incredibly appetizing looking. There it is. Incredibly confidence building. What's that serving size? Oh, zero. Hey, what do you know? There's 63 zero size servings of um, nothingness. Thank you. Incredibly confidence building. Brill. This is Brill Company. You know, their shit's being like, please. You guys didn't notice that your shit's being sold with completely jacked up fraud nutrition panels. Oh, here, if you didn't tell me if it was a pile of poop, I'd swear that this was completely safe. Oh, and how nice of them to furnish these exacting, exacting things, but zero out the daily values. They get very exacting with their points, decimal points is four pumpkin. What is this stuff? Thanks, Brill. We're going to look that up the rest of the way. <laughs> All right, caramel, caramel dipping sauce. Zero calories, zero fat. It's basically a bunch of nothing. There is sugar in it, but it must be that erythritol or sucralose because there is no calories coming through on that. Thanks, Riches. Cinnamon icing filling. How many times you're going to... See this here, no fat, no calories. There's some calories and fat. Doesn't go towards your daily value, so no worries. Yep, no, nope, not worried about the dumbed down, dumbed down effects that these artificial ingredient junk foods are having on our, um, on our youth. Yep, perfectly sane way to supply food. Bunch of saturated fat, no calories. Bunch of sugar, no calories. Calories are from fat. Not sugar. Yep. Ooh. Okay. And then we go to the trans fat offenders. See, now this is not as bad as some of the other places I've said. Um, we reported on Martin's Foods. Um, the chips were being sold on two websites uh, with their trans fat line zeroed out to zero grams when it really is 3.5 grams per serving. And then you see here, um, Stratus gives no units in the serving size and then no daily value to the saturated fat. So, and then it goes to show like how many brand names this trans fat has been sold under so many different brand names. They always switch it up so that you can't tell um, you have to renew, like, what are you getting again? What? Oh, God. 
bulk, all purpose, alpine icing shortening. Alpine icing shortening. Again, very suspicious looking. There is some trans fat. There is some, um, this looks like it's going to be for the interestified alpine, which is interestified is like the next processing of vegetable oil that changes a triglyceride instead of hydrogenating. So we're not sure about how degenerative it is, how heart damaging it is, but it's not been proven unsafe in the way the trans fats have. So, um, it's definitely one of the things to switch to. Um, but there's, there's food grade oils that are, are going to be even better, even better than that. I, I gotta ask Stratus Foods, come clean. Please discontinue. Please recall your products. Do the right thing. Heart attack prevention matters, okay? Food safety matters. Consumer safety. I want to sing a song. I do. I really, really do. We need omega-3s, pretty please. Favorable fat balance ratios and mental health reform. How about it, mental health recovery boards? Are you convinced that bad fats could be hurting people's brain cells? Hey, everybody expects to get a heart attack. You're obese, right? Oh, everybody wants to get a heart attack. But do you want your brain jacked up? I don't. I don't think it's worth it. Support our health today. Let's get our corporate pressure campaigns moving. Mwah.